Welcome back, my loyal subjects of Funk, to an absolute brand new Alet a Funk a King player of Rome 2. Now, guys, this laptop I've had for almost seven years now. I've just recently given it a massive upgrade. Well, I say a massive upgrade. I've went up from an i7 2 gigahertz to an i7 2.5, so we're getting 3.6 in turbo, um, and that's about as far as I can upgrade it because. Um, I can't, the, the graphics card soldered to the motherboard. Anyhow, with one of the games I've had the most benefit from with upgrading is Rome 2 Total War. So, in celebration of this, I thought we would do a Caesar in Goal campaign on fucking legendary as the Arverni Championos of Goal. I'm looking forward to it, guys. I hope you are as well. Let's get the funk in there. We're skipping that because everybody's seen this a thousand times. It's an old game. I am told that the Arverni. So, let's have a think about this. Let's have a massive think about this, lads. So, obviously, Rome's greatest tactics in this are going to be to try and um, divide us. Try and get tribe to fight tribe. And I'm sure Rome's going to succeed to a certain degree in doing that. So, that's sad. But it is the way things are going to be. Now, when I was originally deciding to play this game, because I've been reading a lot about the Celts recently. I've read um, Nora Chadwick's book on the Celts, on the Folio Audition. Absolutely beautiful book and a great read. I've been reading Barry Cunliffe's Iron Age Communities in Britain. But one of the ones I came across, which was just absolutely fantastic read, was um, Dr. Gordon Ward's book on uh, the Belgae. The Belgae Britons, the men of Kent. And um, in, uh, it's a fantastic book in which he proposes that the 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 Belgae are actually and who that occupied Britain, southern Britain and northern Gaul were actually of Teutonic stock, and the book holds up absolutely wonderfully. You got a few inaccuracies because it's quite old. Anyway, great book. If you can get it for a reasonable price, I got it for seven pounds, um, which was just a delightful pl uh, price. But anyway, I digress. Um, it was £35 initially, but I managed to wait, put it all in the Amazon, Amazon wish list, and just wait until it drops, and uh, I've benefited wonderfully from that. So, um, I was wanting to play initially from reading that book as the Atrobates, which I think are round about here, and their leader is Comius. Comius the Atrobatan, who is a, a big feature in I Caesar's Gallic campaigns. That's always a good start. Your word to get some uh, truth. trade with my agreements on the go. So yeah, I uh, initially... All the Shit. Yeah, this is going to be a bit harder. I managed to get lords Greetings. when I uh, first now played. Speak plainly. We're going to be declaring war on them, so we don't really want to trade with them anyway. But yeah, I wanted to play as Comius the Atrobatum. Who uh, fought with Caesar and then against Caesar and actually led the reinforcements to the aid of Vercingetorix, our character here. But alas, he was defeated. Defeated. But anyway, he ended up in Britain as a king of the Belgae in the south. That speaks without and uh, it's a, it's just an incredible story. So we have tr two trade deals to start us off. So we need to really shut these up. Uh, these lot up as. F oh, we're not even at war with anybody. But we're starting off at war with someone. Right, we'll go with attacking these because everybody seems to dislike them at the moment. Um, what would be the fastest route? Right, two turns apparently, but as you can see, hmm. Right, we'll just bring them to the edge of this forest because we want to obviously have a turn to hire some troops. So, like I say, Caesar's going to really try and um, divide us against our enemy. So, I'm going to go ahead and get just melee troops because we have a significant amount of missile troops there. I am looking forward to this actually and the game's performing absolutely swimmingly. So I understand that declaring war on my neighbours probably isn't the best thing for bringing the Celtic tribes together but we at least before we get going on this need to have a basis to um, to have at least one complete province 
before we um, start launching our wars against Julius Caesar. So let's have a look. Um, first objectives, control five settlements, either by direct ownership or through military alliances. So I'm going to try and go for the military alliance option because I don't really want to subjugate my fellow Gauls. I just want these two settlements here for now. Um, so yeah, it's even telling us part one, hold this entire province. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll we'll have a look and see just how well my new processor will hold up at end turns because theoretically the turn should end a damn sight faster so let's go ahead and end BOOM! what the fuck? Um, end to once, so there we go turn one at war with um... darkness gathers yep I'll take that any day right good more ties with goal yes we can get there within a single turn as well um, yeah, fuck it, right? Let's declare war. Actually, let's first of all use some of our coinage to get ourselves in here and poison some wells. Sabotage failed! Let's go in. Right, seeing as it's our first battle, and I want to demonstrate our, um, potential FPS gains. Yeah, fuck it. It's first battle of the map. I'm going to enjoy this campaign. I'm going to take it at a leisurely speed, hopefully. Um, you never know, though, because it is on Legendary, and I don't know why the fuck I chose to put it on Legendary. <laughs> but I did. One of the things we're going to have problems with is probably the different culture groups of the Celts, because roughly Gaul is split into three culture groups. You've got um, your classic Gauls in the southeast, uh, southwest, sorry, part, and in the northwest, you've got where Brittany is. You've got um, slightly more indigenous Celts, may I say? Where's most of the rest come from Eastern Europe? The ones in Brittany, I believe, are slightly more um, from the Bronze Age stock that originally resided there. So I think we're going to have problems with those, and probably the Belgae as well. And there's the Swaby, the Germanics. Which we could have uh, played as if we wanted to. Okay. So let's have a look here. Oh, it's looking gorgeous. Um, we only have the one unit of uh, cavalry. We could have. And they chose to sally out. They've actually chose to leave their settlement. Let's. Uh, I didn't want them to uh I just wanted them to go at normal speed. Let's have it see, this is what I mean. This computer is fucking seven years old, guys. What the hell is a crack there? And it's holding up quite nicely. So yeah, I just wish more games were uh, CPU intensive because unfortunately I get very little gains from the new processor on other other um Total War games after Rome too. But there we go, it's just the way things are. Yeah, we'll we'll do a little bit of light jogging now. Oh, the Celts are class like. We've had a complete turnaround in my worldview in the last few years. I used to prefer Rome. There's something glorious about the culture of the Celts. Let's go ahead and stick it on. Look at that as well, I can even put it on fast forward. It's glorious. Right, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and initiate the battle by um, using my. What have we got here? Celtic skirmishers, 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 skirm. youths. Um. Let's see if we can get them to attack us. Oh, fuck. Um, what I'm going to do is we have four units of. In fact, we'll stick these on here as well. 
I'm going to take the Levy Freeman this way. With any luck. The hell? Oh, fuck it. Just go that way. Right, let's stick on fast forward a bit here. Two fucking units of chosen swordsmen. Let's bring you this way. Oh, it's not what we wanted, really. So our general's taking a big fucking sweaty hit. We're gonna lose a few more troops than I initially anticipated. What does that do? It's a Verse and Jetterick special. So looks like we just put some attack up. Right, we'll see if we can focus on one at a time. This should finish these off. Yeah. I thought that would upset them massively. Right, so we've surrounded them. Pretty easy battle in all, as we knew it was going to be, but I just thought we'd play it. As our first battle on uh on this difficulty. Yep, yeah, there we go. Person Jetterix is doing okay as well. Last thing we want to do is lose him right at the start. Wonder where he actually is in here. Oh, a legendary. We can't. Um, we can't actually stop the battle and slow it down, which is a shame. But it is just the way that things are. Right. Okay. Here we go. Come on! This should really fucking suck of these. Yeah. Because we're essentially. Oh shit. Frenzy charge! Here we go. Come on! Just fucking hammer them! What the hell is going on here? Fucking hell. It's just, it hasn't gone quite as well as I anticipated. This must be the legendary aspect of it all. Oh, of course, there was Chosen Warriors in here as well. Shit. No fucking way. How is this even possible? Um. Fucking hell, we don't have as many off sworn as them. Um. Come on! I think we'll win, but just. Oh shit. We're not gonna win. We're not gonna win! Come on, lads! No, we're not going to win. <sighs> I can't believe this. This is this is a rude awakening for me. Oh, 
Oh, come on, man. These lots health should be dropping like a sack of shit now. Yes, we are winning. Fucking two, right? This was a very embarrassing battle, lads. A costly victory. I can't believe that. As long as Vercingetorix is still alive, then I'm fine by that. But fuck, that was a rude awakening call. And we're seriously going to have to gather our shit together here. Fucking hell. Wow, had me sweating a bit, lads. <laughs> Yeah, he has survived, but oh, fuck, he's even levelled up a bit. So we're probably going to have to sit here for a few turns. I'm going to say warrior for that, because I don't think he's earned the right to be a strategist. I think that's uh, a cert. Alright, so we need some food. Possibly we're not going to get that for a while, so we'll go for cattle. Oh no, saying that. It unlocks the recruitment of a uh, light horse, and we do need light horse. They ran after hardly taking any damage. Anyway, we'll end turn. There should be an auto save on this, I think. You are right. So right. Okay, can't save. Rakon Rakonti and the Ratuni. The funny thing about this, the Rete uh, Reteni, their icon is actually Vercingetorix. Let's see if we can get a bigger one of it. The uh, the Reteni. You can see it there. It's quite hard to see. Um, let's see if we can get a big... There. It's basically, it's a face, and it is the face of Vercingetorix, which was minted on the side of uh, Roman coins for a while. I should say Gaulish coins. Um... You can see it on the front cover of Barry Cunliffe's uh, Barbarians Against Rome, I think it is. I haven't read it yet, but I intend it to do so. Right, what are we going to get first? 10% wealth from all subsistence farming. We've got free food from land management. Oh, we'll get the other free food. We'll pay a, fa uh, a thousand for that free food. Right, at the moment, I'm not going to buy any more troops. I can't believe how close that battle was. That just shows how crazy our legendary campaign is going to be. Um, right, so we've got that now, which is good. Minus upkeep for armies, 5%. That's by quite a lot. Plus 2 to diplomacy with all Celtic factions. Very important to have, considering the type of game that we want to play. Um, let's see if we can get any more trade deals. Uh, oh, we're not going to trade with them. Let's see if we can trade with the Pictones. friend, and let us talk, and let us have good. Law chance. They just absolutely savages. Greetings, friend. Yeah, actually, they did. Occasionally, they could bring together. Oh, yeah. I'll pay you two hundred to, to um, trade. Absolutely, any dirt and Greetings another tie, to another thing to bind us come. together. You know what I mean? That's why it's a good idea. Um. We will gladly listen to your offers. But do so we really need a solid um, economy, because if um, I'll send you up here straight away, because if we don't have a solid economy, hmm, then we can't raise the armies large enough. Because what we want to do is we want to get this entire province sorted, safe as houses, and then after we've got this province safe. Then we want to um, essentially make sure it's well guarded, just in case some of the other tribes declare war on us, or at least to deter them from declaring war on us. And then we can send armies out once we've got um, free passage movements of troops through other people's lands agreements in place. And we can take down Roman spots, like the first spot we really need to get rid of is um, uh, Narbo Martius. It's a little enclave here on the south coast that we really could do without because it, uh, it's giving them access to this part of the map which we don't want them to have. So we'll probably end up liberating oh, whoever. Ah, shit. Right, Warhorn. Right, let's go ahead and end turn. Um. Ah, yes. I love non-aggression packs. Ah, a confederation already. That's brilliant. Okay, right, so we got the minus 5% to upkeep. 
two Imperium if we get that. Five morale during battles in Orna allied territory. It enables the recruitment of champions. I'm going to go for it because I want to get these all trained pronto. Um, hmm. Right, we're going to go for three more troops as well. I know this is going to bring our... Um, yeah, Pictonis any day. Brilliant. Right, so we're building a little bubble round us. Which should... Yeah, I'm military access. Honestly, do whatever you fucking want. Ready for battle. Ah, our chance. <laughs> God, we could do this now. We could try and take these lot down within a single turn. It's still summer. We can take them down through an auto resolve easy. They can't run away because it's the reinforced march stance. Who are they at war with? I want to know what their relations are. Right, lukewarm with most people, which is good. I think most people will favour us over other people. Um, let's have a look here. Pictones might want to trade with us now. Ah, still low. Hmm. Well met, friends. It's on legendary, Save so it shouldn't be really going for anybody less than a, uh, anybody less than is really friendly with us. We shouldn't. We should probably not be trying to uh, get them into a trade deal. Didn't know that we weren't trading with My these. My friend, ones. be well. Ah, got a fucking defensive pact with these chums. <sighs> Let's see if we can get more you defensive paths. There's food a defensive alliance. Sword off. Complicated... Let's suppress. Alright, Pictones. Greetings, friend. I've called for good. Defensive alliance. Your... My friend, be welcome. Ah. The gods would be displeased Let's if I said offer yes some payments. To easily. Although you speak your path. There we go, brilliant. Right, so another. And put it before We've my got people. four provinces they now. Feast in and it said five in either direct ownership or. Um, once five under direct ownership or. Uh, um, much, much you call it, under uh, client oh, states or other all. stuffs. Okay, right. We're going to leave it. No, we're not. Mm, we're going to go ahead and attack. Fuck it. They've got no. It's an ambush, as we thought it would be. Um, enslave. Right, brilliant. Okay, and now I'm going to bring these as far to this side as we can. And we'll go ahead and hire some more troopios. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? That's probably going to be the best that we can do. So we're going to leave it there, guys, and see what the fuck happens. And um, we'll probably go... Oh, we can't. We can't afford it. But I would love to take this down as soon as possible. We'll see what we can do in the next session. But if we can initiate a battle outside the settlement, then that would be absolutely fantastic. But for now, guys, I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching, and goodbye.